Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now this morning, my lazy mind wasn't able to keep me in bed. In fact, it felt like it wasn't even a battle. You know, literally just as my beautiful girlfriend Kat woke me up at five to seven, uh, I just jumped straight out of bed. And it's funny actually, because Kat was telling me how she was sort of gearing herself up and planning what she was going to say to try and persuade me to get up if my lazy mind started uh, winning the battle. But um, yeah, she didn't need to. But I know not to be complacent, you know, I'm not going to start thinking that it's ever going to be easy for me to just jump out of bed like that. Um, because I am inherently lazy, you know, at, at that first moment in the morning. But, you know, the battle was won with ease, it feels like, today. Now, once I got back from taking Kat to work, I made a point of straight away having a load of water and my salt water and my vitamin C. I didn't have those before I left to take Kat because I knew I was going to, you know, give myself a bit of time on the sofa to fully wake up and get going with my routine at 8 a.m., which is, you know, nowadays the plan when I don't need to take Kat to work. Although on them days, I'll get up at half seven, you know, rather than um, seven. But yeah, I definitely find that, you know, having all this cold water first thing in the morning helps wake me up. You know, it's the first step towards helping me wake up, as well as, you know, just being really healthy. Like, you know, you do get dehydrated at night and, you know, it's essential that the first thing you do when you wake up is have a load of water. You know, I should have done that before I took that to work, really. But, um, but yeah, I found that the water definitely helps me wake up. And um, maybe that was the difference between me actually getting going at 8 a.m. and, you know, potentially sitting on the sofa for longer than that. But um, this morning, I am winning the battle. You know, I've written in my journal. I've done my meditation, as usual. Definitely felt like I was falling asleep during it, which is a bit of an issue nowadays. But after that, went for my walk around the block even though it is raining outside and even though my foot is still killing and now I'm back to do my exercises. And yeah, I just wanna get these done, have a cold shower, have my breakfast and then dive into some work because uh, yeah, I've got a busy day ahead of me. Now, in terms of my exercises, I'm just gonna do one of my shoulder workouts with the light dumbbells, so uh, let's get on with it. Right now, I'm listening to a video where a lady called Jessie Lee Ward is on with Ed Milet and she's talking about the fact that she's been diagnosed with stage four cancer. She was um, a successful businesswoman, you know, before that, you know, so she's talking about the lows and the highs of that. But um, yeah, just sort of talking about what it's like to be diagnosed with cancer that's uh, potentially going to kill her. Eckhart Tolle talks about how most people, you know, don't live in the present moment. They live in future and past. But a lot of people also, you know, when they're on their deathbed, that's the only time that they really accept you know, the reality of life. And that acceptance can sort of free you from your ego and free you from the negativity that your mind has been um, hurting you with. So yeah, there's definitely lessons to be learned, you know, when you're listening to people like this, because, you know, although it's horrible to get cancer, you know, it's horrible to, you know, be faced with death, it does give you the opportunity to experience full acceptance of your situation. And um, obviously for us to listen to someone's story who's going through that, you know, it gives us an insight into what it feels like to experience, you know, acceptance of something so dire. So uh, yeah, very sad, but very interesting. Right, it is now 1 p.m. And I was hoping to get myself around the garage here at home way before 1 p.m. I'm just having more problems with computers. Like one of my followers who had tried to purchase some merchandise from me who lives in New Zealand said he wasn't able to um, yeah, purchase merchandise. So I tried to access my website admin. I use Shopify and I can't log into my Shopify. And it said sort of, you know, click here to retry it or try later. That didn't work, so I just assumed there's a problem with Shopify itself. 
And then, you know, I had edited yesterday's on track video and I normally schedule the posts. Um, so, you know, you can do them ahead of time and just set them to go live at a certain time. And yeah, I can't get onto that page either. It just says we're unable to load this page up. So then it makes me think there's actually something wrong with the settings in my browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And actually earlier on, I noticed a pop-up that come up. It came up and said, oh, for whatever reason, we've reset your settings um, because they've detected something or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've just been going through all the settings, trying to sort of allow pop-ups and allow this and, you know, just testing different things to see if then I can access my Shopify or, you know, get on to scheduling the posts. But yeah, nothing I've tried has worked. And I've just sat here, you know, wasting time, like when I should be getting around the garage. Um, so I don't know whether these problems are being caused because I've transferred everything over from my old MacBook. I still don't know whether the problem with my old MacBook, with it turning off, uh, that could itself be caused by, you know, a dodgy file or something. So yeah, just yet more computer problems. And, you know, I wanted to get around the garage earlier than this. And I'm sitting here, it's like, no, you know, you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying. And look, the answer is because I need to get stuff done just to leave that alone and crack on with the rest of my day. And, you know, it's got to 1 p.m. now where it's like right now I really do need to. I need to accept the situation and move on. And um, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. But it might involve me having to just start again. You know, reset the new MacBook and uh, start again, and maybe just yeah, only sort of you know transfer selected files and stuff over from the old one rather than just doing everything. But um, yeah, what a nightmare! I'm not that computer savvy at all, you know. And then to make it worse, I need my computer to work every day, like to, to do everything I need to do. So yeah, stressful. But I'm leaving it alone now. I'm accepting it. And you know, I can now smile about it and laugh about it because I have, you know, decided to stop battling against this issue that I'm having. So uh yeah, time for me to get around the garage and crack on with what I need to do. Cause um yeah, I've wasted too much time already. All right, so following on from the negativity I'm having today with my MacBook, I got round to the garage at home, way later than planned, and then I realized that I couldn't do the jobs that I wanted to today on the car because I need some parts. And uh, yeah, because I've wasted so much time messing around with my MacBook, I don't exactly have loads of time to head out and get those parts. Also, the place where I'm gonna go and get those parts from, I was planning to go to tomorrow, but not before I head over to my other garage where my favorite car is to take some measurements on something on that car, um, which will then give me the data I need to order the right parts for that car. So, with hardly any time to squeeze it all in, I'm now heading over to my favorite car, gonna collect the data that I need to, then I'm gonna rush over to this place where I get the parts from, uh, hopefully before they close. All right, so I managed to get over to my other garage where my favorite car was and do the measuring that I needed to, and then I managed to get over to the parts supplier before they shut. Unfortunately, I didn't have all the parts that I need for my favorite car. Uh, I just needed multiple of the same part basically and they only had a couple of each of the sizes um, but I did get the parts that I need for the car that I've got at home that I was working on or was supposed to be working on today so it's not all bad but now I need to get through the traffic and I need to go and pick my beautiful girlfriend up from work and basically I've been thinking all day should I or should I not go to boxing? One thing I have noticed is my chest injury. When I hit it, it doesn't hurt anymore. So that's definitely pretty much fully healed up. But yeah, my foot really hasn't healed up. But um, yeah, I am 50-50, you know. I could not go boxing and wait until my foot is fully healed, which could take weeks and weeks. Or I could go boxing and, you know, just do what I can. Uh, I won't be able to do any sparring or anything like that and, you know, I might have to sit out uh, some of the sort of activities that uh, they get us to do. But um, yeah, I am literally 50-50. And you know the rules, when I'm 50-50, I choose the option that's the hardest work. And going to boxing is way more hard work than not going to boxing. So it looks like I'm going boxing. Just hope I'll get to uh, Cat's work 
and then get home and then get to boxing in time. But according to the sat nav, I should just about make it. Because I have spent quite a lot of time in the car today, it's given me a good opportunity to, you know, listen to some podcasts and stuff. Right now I'm listening to a podcast called the Peter Attia podcast. Um, and yeah, the guys on there are just talking about things like longevity and supplementation and um, just all about, you know, health in terms of what you're putting into your body. You know, ever since I've been, you know, taking my health seriously, I take a number of supplements every day. You know, I'm not one to get my blood tested every month. Um, so, you know, I just sort of stick to the, the main vitamins and minerals that everyone needs, you know. I am kind of guessing it, which you shouldn't really do. You should uh, seek advice before you take anything. But, you know, things like vitamin C, things like vitamin D, things like fish oil and omega-3 capsules, like, you know, they're all things that most people, you know, don't get enough of in their diet. So, yeah, I just make sure that I supplement every day as well as, you know, having a relatively clean diet. Um, obviously, I supplement with protein shakes as well, which is more to do with, you know, trying to build muscle and stuff. And uh, then there's the creatine, which I also put in my protein shakes, which, um, again, it's mainly helpful in the gym, but also uh, studies have shown that creatine is uh, really good for your brain as well. And, um, yeah, studies have shown that it can uh, help your brain in, into older age. So, yeah, you know, any time you get a significant time in your car, you know, most people have to drive away to go to work. Don't listen to music. Don't listen to news, you know, all this propaganda that the system's just trying to fill your head with. Use it as an opportunity to bung on a podcast on YouTube and learn something. You know, I know that, that actually sounds crazy in today's world. Everyone just listens to music or listens to the news. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's an awesome opportunity for you to take in more knowledge. And it's kind of like free because you're not wasting any of your time during your day because you've got to drive that, that journey anyway. So, um it's like time-free knowledge gained. Anyway, as I say, I am planning to go boxing today. I think I'm gonna have loads of salt water before I go boxing because I'm so busy that I could really do with not having a migraine later after boxing so that I can crack on with some more work. Um, it's looking like I'm gonna have to do some work around the garage tomorrow morning but I really want to get the next car video out tomorrow evening. Um, so, yeah, you know, I've got a lot going on, so I do need to get some work done this evening. But, um, yeah, I'll chat to you after boxing and let you know how that went. All right, so I survived boxing, but I very nearly didn't go, to be honest. After I spoke to you earlier, I ended up getting in a bit of a state when I was in the traffic, you know, trying to get to pick a cat up from work. Um, basically, I realised that the sat-nav was taking me home and not to Cat's work. Cat does work very close to home. But um, yeah, then the motorway that it took me on, I mean, looking at the map, you know, once I'd switched the sat nav over to Cat's work, on the map, it was kind of like we were, I was going back on myself. Um, so yeah, started sort of stressing out uh, about that. But in hindsight, it probably was the quickest route anyway, because I didn't get to Cat's work any later than the sat nav said. I was gonna get to my destination when I unknowingly had my home um, put into the sat nav. So yeah, it was unnecessary for me to, you know, get in a state. Obviously at the time I'm thinking like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna have time now to go to boxing and got all these sort of potentially false versions of the future going through my head when, you know, none of that mattered really. <laughs> all I needed to do was get to cat's work and then I can you know figure out whether I was gonna have time to get to boxing but then even when I picked cat up I was banging on about you know how much stuff I need to get done tonight you know with editing the video with you know potentially having a look at the issues that I've got on my MacBook you know so you know I, I kind of decided I weren't gonna to go to boxing because you know I didn't have time and you know that was nonsense that was just my mind telling me that you know I shouldn't go to boxing, I didn't have time. Obviously, then my mind's sort of making me focus on the fact that my foot is injured. But um, yeah, thankfully I did decide to go to boxing and I'm really glad I did. I didn't do any head sparring or anything like that, but you know, other than that, I, you know, I was able to do everything. My foot really started hurting about 10 minutes into the session, um, but then it didn't really get any worse throughout it. So um, 
yeah, it's all good. I paid my subs today for the rest of the month, and I'm basically just going to do one session a week until my foot heals. Um, whereas, you know, last month I stepped it up to two a week. But yeah, absolutely love boxing. I'm so glad that I went today rather than waiting for my foot to fully heal because then, you know, it would have took me a while to get back into it. And um, yeah, it was awesome. Now, I've just got out of the shower and Kat has cooked me some chicken and I need to knock up a salad to go with it. And yeah, just going to be chilling out with Kat for a bit, but I will be diving into some sort of work. I think I need to focus on, you know, doing one thing at a time. I need to try not to get drawn into trying to suss what's going on with uh, my MacBook in terms of you know the internet browser not working properly. I need to just focus on editing the footage for the car video that I wanna put out tomorrow. I've already got to do a little bit of work you know, early on in the day to finish that video, but I really want the video to go out tomorrow evening. So yeah, it's all about you know focusing on one thing at a time and not allowing my mind to draw me into you know other things. Um, and you know, not allowing my mind to, you know, get overwhelmed with the fact that I do have loads of stuff to do. Um, because yeah, that that sort of happened earlier on. I mean, I didn't get into a right state. You know, it's just another example of me watching what my mind's doing and acknowledging what my mind's doing. And um, yeah, just constantly bringing myself back to the present moment, bringing myself back to the task at hand. Because. Um, yeah, if I don't, you know, actively do that, then I really do get myself into right states. So I'm going to go and finish making my dinner and uh, crack on with everything that I need to do. And I'm going to end this video here. But massive thanks, as always, to everyone who's tuned in. Really appreciate it. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful or motivational. Feel free to say hello in the comments and we'll have a chat or get in touch with me through the usual channels. All the links to everything will be in the description as usual. But other than that, I'll speak to you tomorrow.